welcome dear students welcome back to physics class i hope you are all safe in this quarantine okay so last class in la in last recorded video class we had discussed the introduction of the lessons that is the lesson unit and measurements okay so first we had discussed what is a unit then what are the fundamental units what are the derived units okay and then what are the various system followed by the peoples around the world what are the various system um it is centimeter gram again cgs then foot pound second then meter kilogram second to eradicate all the confusions in 1971 they brought uh, one common unit system that is system international d unit that is the unit is called sa unit so this unit was introduced in 1971 at the conference that is general conference for weights and measures so at the conference only they introduced the sa system and also we have discussed the various advantages of the sa system okay next we have some fundamental quantities and some derived quantities so seven fundamental quantities we have start from length mass time temperature electric current then amount of substance then finally luminous intensity so for this seven fundamental quantities we have checked the unit and the symbol of the unit then the definition of the unit so how they defined okay now we are moving to the next topic measurements of length so basically out of the seven fundamental quantities uh, uh, we, apart from the seven fundamental quantities we have also checked the what are plane angle what are solid angle plane angle for 2d and solid angle for 3d okay radian and radian that also we have checked but mostly we use the three fundamental quantity length mass time now how to measure the length and how to how to estimate the larger distance and smaller distance because from the beginning itself i am saying physics have two important domain one is macroscopic domain another one is microscopic domain macroscopic means the thing which can measure by eye and cannot measure by eye which is far bigger okay much bigger that is microscopic domain but microscopic domain means the thing cannot visible in eye and also less than the uh, vision range uh, less than the size vision size okay that is microscopic domain similarly we have a three important fundamental quantity one is the length the second one is mass the third one is time now the three quantities also we are going to measure the two kind of measurements so measuring large and small so how to measure the large distance how to measure the small distance similarly how to measure the larger mass how to measure the smaller mass how to estimate the time also so the three fundamental quantity only we are going to revise now from that first one is length measurement of length to measure the length we'll use a device what is the name of the instrument used to measure the length example i draw the line on board the line start from a to b i want to measure the length of this line line segment okay i use a meter scale okay i use a meter scale normally i may use a 15 cm scale or 30 cm scale that is the range of the scale but generally the meter tape uh, in a construction site they'll use a rolling meter tape no so that have the length it's 100 meter okay so now we are going to check the device meter scale so the meter scale measures up to measures up to 1 mm normally meter scale measures up to 1 mm so this is the least count what is called the least count the lowest value of the given instrument is called least count so the meter scale graduations are there like this so 0 3 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 mm is equal to 1 cm so the minimum value of the lowest uh, the maximum sorry the what is the least count least count is the lowest measure of any instrument so in this meter scale the lowest measure is 1 mm which is called the least count so least count is 1 mm similarly we can measure up to 100 meter okay so we can write the range of this meter scale the range of the meter scale is from 1 mm no 
so the 1 mm we can say as milli means already i said 10 to the power minus p 10 to the power minus p up to 100 meter we can write as 10 square 100 is 10 square so this is the range range means from where to where minimum measurable to maximum measurable value so this is the range of the meter scale okay suppose if you want to measure the length smaller than a 1 mm we cannot use meter scale if we have one object like our hair you want to measure the thickness of hair so can you use a meter scale to measure the thickness of hair because our hair thickness is very less smaller than a millimeter so we cannot use meter scale for that we'll use a, another instrument the name of the instrument is vernier caliper okay the name of the instrument is vernier caliper this vernier caliper can measure up to 10 to the power minus 4 meter this is the accuracy this instrument measures less than a millimeter the vernier caliper is used to measure the internal diameter and the external diameter of the hollow and solid objects so you are going to perform the experiments in lab once you come to school the vernier caliper looks like this it is like a ordinary meter scale and the ordinary meter scale the readings also marked from 0 to 1 mm it goes on it has a two jaws in this main scale this is a main scale it have a two jaws one fixed upper jaw then one fixed lower jaw okay this jaw upper jaw is p this lower jaw is a on this main scale of the vernier scale marking sadhe on this main scale a slide is moving that is called vernier slide a vernier slide which was moving over the main scale a vernier slide which can moves over the main scale this is a vernier scale v okay this this is a scale is called vernier vernier scale this vernier scale also have marking 10 division start from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so totally how many divisions are there 10 divisions are there in the vernier scale namak main scale la rendu fixed jaws irukka mari the movable vernier scale also have a two jaws one fixed upper jaw and the one fixed lower jaws so this jaw is q this jaw is a and we have a depth probe in additional we have a depth probe then we have one lamp fixing screw so we need to release the screw this screw is used to to tight or release then only the vernier can slide over the main scale so ipdi da vernier caliper irukum so vernier caliper la namak ordinary main scale irukke vernier vernier caliper have ordinary main scale over the main scale the vernier scale can slide over to and fro okay then these two jaws used to measure the internal diameter of hollow object like a cylinder test tube or the internal diameter this lower jaws are used to measure the external diameter of the solid sphere like a lead shot any metal ball like this okay so the vernier caliper used to measure the dimensions less than a millimeter so the accuracy is up to 10 to the power minus 4 meter similarly we have another one instrument that is screw cage screw cage and the spirometer screw cage or spirometer so these two instruments also uh, have a greater accuracy comparing a vernier caliper it can measure correctly up to 10 to the power minus 5 meter the screw cage looks like this it have a u shaped metallic frame the screw cage have a u shaped metallic frame u shaped metallic frame one side of the u shaped metallic frame a hollow cylinder scale is attached this is a hollow cylindrical scale inside this in this u shaped metallic frame one side have a fixed stud s1 the stud is fixed okay this is u shaped frame then on this hollow cylinder a reading sir mark it's like a ordinary main scale reading 0 1 2 3 4 5 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It goes on like this. The markings are there. Okay. And grooves are cut the inner surface of this uh, hollow cylinder. Okay. Grooves me tell you know me. Palaya old fountain pen la na mamudi maran solo la mara. The grooves are cut the inner surface of the hollow cylinder through which a movable stud can go. Okay. This is a sleeve portion. The sleeve head is the sleeve head also. This is a head scale. The head scale also having a marking zero. Five, it goes on, and here it is ninety-five. It comes like this. So this is called a head scale. This is called a pitch scale. This is called a head scale. This is called a head scale, and uh, this is a sleeve. The sleeve have one ratchet arrangement. The ratchet arrangement to avoid the over screwing, and this movable screw. Also have grooves. This is a stud S1. Okay, so the object should be placed between the two studs, so we can measure the thickness of a small wire. You know, the copper is a conductor. Last year you may have performed Ohm's law experiment to determine the resistance of the unknown coil. So in the given coil, it is a cylindrical shape of the wire. So you can determine the uh, radius. How to determine the radius? You can determine the diameter using a screw cutch, and then you can find the radius because The diameter which you have found, you divide by two, you'll get the radius. Okay. So the object which have a dimension less than one millimeter, we cannot use what meter scale. We'll use either the vernier caliper or screw cutch. So the screw cutch and spherometer both also have the same dimension, up to ten to the power five meter. Okay. So no doubt, I think. So these are the measurements of various lengths. Okay. Next, how to estimate the large distance? And how to estimate the smaller distance? That only we are going to check. How to estimate the small distance? Now, large distance. We'll see. For that, we have a different method: radio echo, laser pulse, and parallax. But the radio echo method and laser pulse method, you'll be learning in your higher studies. Well, you choose the engineering. And some other branch of physics, there you will be studying communication engineering and other things you will study. But here in our eleventh standard level, they given only the parallax method. So how parallax method is used to determine the larger distance? Measurement of larger distance. There are three various methods are there. What are the three various methods? One is radio echo. The second method is laser pulse. The third one is parallax method. Okay, the radio echo and laser pulse you will be studying in your higher studies, but here they given parallax method. So, how to estimate the larger distance? Using a parallax method only, we are going to check. Parallax method. It's very simple thing. Parallax method is very simple thing. In radio echo and laser pulse method, they use a radio waves or a sound waves for a long distance. Then they know the speed of the radio waves or the laser light propagations. And on an obstacle, it will hit. The obstacle is an object like a moon or a Mars or some other planet. Okay. After hit the moon surface, then it will reflect it back. So they have a speed. They know the time taken. Then easily they can calculate the distance because speed is equal to distance by time. They know the speed of the wave propagated and the time taken in which the wave is transmitted. Then easily can determine the distance. So distance is equal to speed into time. In this method only, they use to calculate the uh, distance of larger distance, like from Earth to Moon, from Earth to Mars, from Earth to Sun, from Earth to the last planet in our solar system, from Earth to the neighbor star, from Earth to the galaxy. So like this, they can determine the distance, larger distance. 
okay so parallax method only they use so what is the parallax method listen parallax method is very simple thing you imagine okay take the pen okay take the pen listen now hold the pen in your hands and don't move your head and don't shake the pen also now observe the tip of the pen and also in the pen ku pinadi iruka or doorathla iruka wallo illa or object focus pannikenga now you focus the tip of the pen using your uh, observe this from your right eye if in the tip vandu you know the shut your left uh, left eye open the right eye observe the tip of the pen also notice the distant object behind this now close shut the uh, right eye once again observe the tip of the pen from your left eye okay but it shifted okay i repeat once again this is the pen okay this is your left eye this is your right eye now observe the tip of the pen from your right eye and there is a distant object is there okay now shut this left eye observe the tip of the pen from your right eye now once again you observe it so from this two points what you are measuring the target the source okay that distance remains same and distance between the two i no distance between the two i similarly here distance between the two point is called basis here it create an angle from the two uh, basis from the source it create an angle theta thirumo solran எக்ஸாம்பிள் பேலக்ஸ் மெத்தங்கிறது இது மாதிரி தான் சிம்பிளா இதோட இதை வச்சு நம்ம எப்படி கம்பேர் பண்ண போறோம் நம்ம எஃப்ல இருந்து இப்ப எஃப்ல இருந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா டயமீட்டர்ல நார்த் போல்ல ஒருத்தரும் அதே பர்சன் சவுத் போல்ல இருக்காரு அப்ப நார்த் போல்ல இருந்து அவர் எதை மெஷர் பண்றாரு மூணு அப்சர்வ் பண்றாரு மறுபடி ஷிப்டட் டு சவுத் போல் ஃப்ரம் சவுத் போல் ஒன்ஸ் அகைன் லக்வுட் த மூன் சோ இந்த போத் த கேசஸ் த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் நெவர் சேஞ்ச் அண்ட் த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் த நார்த் போல் டு சவுத் போல் ஆல்சோ ஓன் சேஞ்ச் and this distance is called basis purinjathingla and here it create an angle this angle is called paralytic angle what is the name of the angle paralytic angle so parallax method is very easy listen so here let us take this is a planet this is a planet this is the distance want to be estimate and this angle theta is called paralytic angle parallelic angle okay moreover the planets are far away the planets are far away therefore the ratio between the basis to the distance is less much less than 1 one vida kandipa da irukum abina this theta is larger or smaller less than 1 away therefore theta is also theta is also very small theta is also very small ipo idu edoda compare panna poringa na nam already plane angle paatha gap iruka so this you relate to the plane angle in this plane angle this is a center so this center this is a uh, position of the planet and observer at a now he shifted to the point at b but both the cases the radius here the distance is the radius the does not change it makes a small angle here this is theta and the arc length ab gives what is the arc length the arc length ab is equal to basis so the arc length is the arc length ab which is equal to basis and the d d the distance which is equal to radius the distance which is equal to radius therefore the radius as and is vs therefore what are the radius we have the radius as which is also equal to bs so that ab is equal to so that ab is equal to b already we, in a plane angle we have studied what we have discussed in a plane angle already we have discussed in a plane angle in a plane angle d theta is equal to ds by r d theta is equal to ds by r similarly we can substitute theta is equal to what is the ds arc length of? this is basis here radius is d therefore we want to estimate 
the distance of object from the two observer no so mutually exchange this both therefore d is equal to basis by theta so now we are determine the distant object so id edhuk applicable na ipo namba veetla ipo nee namba veetla irundhu doorathla or cell phone tower irukku and the cell phone tower or distance ni estimate pannona na we can use the method so first veetla irundhu nee enna pannuva வீட்டில் ஒரு பாயிண்டில் இருந்து நீ அந்த செல்ஃபோன் டவரை நோட் பண்ணுவ அப்போ ஒரு ஃபியூ டிஸ்டன்ஸ் நடந்து போவேன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஏங்கிற பாயிண்ட்ல இருந்து செல்ஃபோன் டவரை நோட் பண்ணுவேன் அதுக்கப்புறம் ஒரு டென் மீட்டர் நடந்து போய் பீங்கிற பாயிண்ட்ல இருந்து செல்ஃபோன் டவரை நோட் பண்ணுவேன் ஸோ இது டவர் இது வீட்டில் நம்ம ஃபர்ஸ்ட் மெஷப் பண்ண அந்த ஒரு பாயிண்ட் அடுத்து நம்ம ஷிஃப்ட் ஆன பாயிண்ட் ஒரு டென் மீட்டர் ஷிஃப்ட் ஆயிருக்கும் தென் த ஆங்கிள் ஆல்சோ ப்ரொடியூஸ் தென் பை நோயிங் த ஆங்கிள் அண்ட் த பேசிஸ் ஈஸிலி வி கேன் டெட்டர்மைன் த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் சச் அ மெத்தட் இஸ் கால் பேரலக்ஸ் மெத்தட் so parallax method is one of the method used to estimate the larger distance so here we use the case plane and case okay so this is a formula so the distance is equal to basis by parallactic angle okay any doubt in, i hope you are clear in this okay now in a same method we can also estimate the angular diameter of the planet in the same method also we can estimate the angular diameter of the planet so how to find the angular diameter of the planet listen we'll keep the formula distance is equal to basis by parallactic angle don't forget distance is equal to basis by parallactic angle distance is equal to basis by parallactic angle so in a similar method the similar method is used to to similar method A similar method is used to, to determine what we can determine angular diameter of the planet angular diameter what is angular diameter planet so how can we determine listen if the d is the diameter of the planet let us take d is the diameter of the planet d is the diameter of the planet and alpha is the angular size of the planet alpha is the angular size of the planet this angular size is nothing but angle subtended by this angular size is nothing but angle subtended by ஒன்ல what is the formula the angular size of the planet is equal to diameter of the planet okay divided by distance of planet from the observer so we have a two formula this formula used to calculate the distant object yes from the source to the uh, from the object from the source to the object what is the distance and this formula used to calculate the angular size of the planet okay we are going to solve some numericals before that one first example is given look at the first example that example is very very important by knowing this values only easily we can convert already we know a circle is basically 360 degree a circle is generally 360 degree start from zero in the angular point let's start i again it's end in the a so total for one complete revolutions the angle is 2 pi r so we have a two two quadrant first uh, we had not two quadrant four quadrant we have four quadrant this quadrant on 90 second quadrant on 90 third also 90 fourth quadrant also 90 so 490 is equal to 360 so first semi circle this is pi radian similarly the second one is another one pi radian so in generally we can say it is a two pi radian so for a full circle we can say it is 
2 pi radian. So using this, the first example, look at the first example, calculate the angle of, that's in 2.1, calculate the angle of 1 degree, 1 minute, 1 arc second. Okay, we want to calculate this three things. 1 degree, 1 minute, 1 arc second. So how to calculate? Listen. First, from the circle we know 360 degree is equal to or a full circle. So 360 degree which is equal to 2 pi radian. 1 pi is 180. 1 quadrant is 90. So 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian. So we can write it as 1 degree into 360 which is equal to 2 pi radian. Okay. So therefore 1 degree is equal to 2 pi by 360 radian. So we can cancel 2 and 360. So finally we have pi by 180 radian. What is the value of pi? It is 3.14 arc. So the value of pi is 3.14 divided by 180 radian. Then 1 degree. After the simplification, the value of 1 degree is equal to 1 approximately it is equal to 1.745 into 10 to the power minus 2 radian. Actually the value comes as 0.01745 but we changed into 10 power minus 2. Okay, decimal value because SA system what we used to decimals. So I change like this. So this is the value of 1 degree. I repeat once again how to find the value of 1 degree. So now we found the value of 1 degree. How? For one full circle 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian. 360 degree we can write it as 1 degree into 360 half. Because any value is multiplied with the one same value only. So 1 degree into 360. So 1 degree value only we want to know. So the multiplication you bring to left, uh, right hand side that become a denominator. So 2 and 360 we can cancel and we will get pi by 180. Value of pi is 3.14. Then 3.14 divided by 180. If you take a logarithm or else uh, division method, we will get the answer is 0 0.01745. But 0 0.01745 we can write it as 1.745 into 10 power minus 2. This is the value of 1 degree. In the same way, we can determine the value of 1 minute. So how to find the value of 1 minute? You see. We know 1 minute is equal to, not 1 minute, uh, 1 degree is equal to 60 minute hour. 1 degree is equal to 60 arc minute. 60 arc minute. Or, and what is this value 1 degree? What is the value of 1 degree? Okay. Now, we are going to verify some of the examples. So, these three examples are also related how to measure the larger distance. Okay. So, first two questions from our book. See, I read the questions once. And from the first two questions, we found the value. We found the value of 1 degree, 1 arc minute, 1 arc second. What is the value of 1 degree? The value of 1 degree is 1.745 into 10 to the power minus 2 radian. Similarly, value of 1 arc minute is 2.91 into 10 power minus 4 radian. Then one arc second value is 4.85 into 10 power minus 6 radian. Okay, we will keep this value separately. Now, example 2.2. First question. Listen. A man wishes to estimate the distance of nearby tower from him. He stands at a point A in front of the tower C. He stands at a point A in front of the tower C. So C is the tower. Tower Kumnadi Angro point and anything. He stands at a point A in front of the tower C and spots very distant objects. If the tower a path 
அது பக்கத்துல இருக்க ஒரு டிஸ்டன்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்டையும் நோட் பண்ணிருக்காரு அது பக்கத்துல இருக்க ஒரு டிஸ்டன்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்டையும் நோட் பண்ணிருக்காரு லைக் இது ஒரு பில்டிங்கா இருக்கலாம் அந்த செல்போன் டவருக்கு பின்னாடி இருக்க ஒரு பில்டிங் இல்ல ஒரு மலை இல்ல சம்திங் எல்ஸ் ஓகே இப்ப என்ன பண்றாரு பாருங்க இஸ் ஸ்பாட்ஸ் வெரி டிஸ்டன்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் ஓ இந்த லைன் ஏசி இந்த லைன் ஏசி இந்த ஏசியோட லைன்ல டிஸ்டன்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் நோட் பண்ணிட்டாரு அண்ட் தென் ஹி வாக் பெர்பண்டிகுலர் டு ஏசி இப்ப ஏசிக்கு பெர்பண்டிகுலரா நடந்து போறாரு அப் டு பி ஏசிக்கு பெர்பண்டிகுலரா அப் டு பி வரைக்கும் நடந்து போறாரு ஹவு மச் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் மீட்டர் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் He, he then walks perpendicular AC up to B, a distance of 100 meter, and looks at the point O and C again. Thirumba adhe distant object yon, thirumba adhe tower yon pakarare. Thirumba adhe tower yon pakarare. Then distant object yon pakarare. Okay, then distant object yon pakarare. Listen. Since O is very distant, the direction B O is practically as the same as A O. The direction... BO, the direction BO is practically same as AO. Okay. But he finds the line of sight is shifted from the original line of sight by an angle of theta. Anna, one way you say, in the line of sight is shifted. So the line of sight is shifted from the original value of theta. The theta value is given, it is 40 degree. Theta value is 40 degree. Theta is known as parallax. This is a parallax angle. Estimate the distance of the tower C from its original position. So now, from its original position, estimate the distance of the tower C. This only we want to find. Okay. So how to determine this? Look at this diagram. So first, the angle point is the distant tower. Then, the distant tower is the distant object. Then, the distant object is the perpendicular 100 meters. Once again, once again, he absorbs the same tower by focusing the same distant object. So, if this is theta, then what is this angle? Same angle, no? Theta, no? Yes. So, in question it is given theta value. The theta value is a paralytic angle, 40 degree. Okay. And this is a right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle, we can use a tan theta concept. What is the tan theta? Tan theta is opposite by adjacent. Opposite by adjacent. What is opposite? Theta is opposite. AB. Adjacent AC. So opposite is AB. Adjacent is AC. But now we can see what is the distance of tower from the man. What is the distance of tower from the man. So AC only we want. So AC is equal to. Now AC is tan theta. We can change it. AB by tan theta. What is the value of AB? AB is the basis. No? Our perpendicular is another distance. This is 100 meter. And tan theta, what is the value of theta? Paralytic angle is 40 degree. Sir, 40 degree can be sir, calculate. We can do 30 degree, 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degree easily we can find. Trigonometric relations, we can use the value of the table. That is the direct use. But 40 degree, we will use only the logarithm. So, logarithm, I will teach you after this lesson. Now, we don't have time. So, I will finish this lesson. and book back exercise at the time i will teach you the uh, logarithm how to solve the basic addition uh, logarithmic functions arithmetic function like addition subtraction multiplication divisions uh, how to solve all this uh, using log okay that i'll explain uh, after the lesson end of the lesson but from the log book if you see the tan 40 the value is 0.8391 so 100 meter divided by 0.8391 This is the value of tan 40. So, tan 40 is uh, 0.8391. By taking the ratios, the final value is 11. Yes, the final value is 119 meter. Therefore, the distance of the tower from the man is 119 meter. So, if you have a distance from the man, the tower and the man are in the man or the position is 119 meter. Do you understand? The same way, we have a next problem. Look at the next problem. Example 2.3. 
the moon is observed from two diametrically opposite points of ab on earth so this is our earth so earth la diametrically opposite point a and b let us take it is from the north pole this is from the south pole appo earth la irundhu namba edha observe pandrom moon observe pandrom so the moon is observed from di two diametrically opposite point from the earth a and b this is the position of moon which is observed from two diametrically opposite point from the earth okay the angle suspended at the moon by a two direction of observation is angle is given theta value what is the value of theta it is 1 degree 54 arc minute given the diameter of the earth is about 1.276 into 10 power 7 meter this is fixed the diameter of the moon is basis it is 1.276 into 10 to the power 7 meter this is the diameter of the moon sorry this is the diameter of the earth calculate the distance of moon from the earth we want to calculate the distance of moon from the earth so what is the distance of moon from the earth it's a very simple method already we know in a parallax method we uh, we use no to estimate the distance distance d is equal to basis by parallelic angle basis also given parallelic angle also given but only one confusion here the angle is not given only in degree also they given in minute so we need to convert this value okay so how to convert this see we'll write the given the given values the basis basis what is the basis diameter of the moon basis is nothing but diameter of earth the diameter of the earth is given which is 1.276 into 10 to the power 7 meter but the parallelic angle theta is what is the value of theta it is 1 degree 54 minutes so we need to convert this so 1 minute is equal to 60 arc again arc minute and 54 uh, minute also given so 60 plus 54 that becomes 114 minute therefore theta is equal to 114 minute we can write it as 114 into 1 arc minute but 1 arc minute also we can write it as 114 into 60 arc again but further we can change it as 114 into 60 into 1 arc second okay then 114 into 60 into what is the value of 1 arc second already we found in the first sum that is 4.85 into 10 to the power minus 6 radian okay and multiply all this value finally we will get the value this 3.32 into 10 to the power minus 6 radian so this is the value of theta now we have theta value also directly we can substitute therefore the distance of moon from the earth is basis by theta basis is the diameter of the earth that is 1.276 into 10 to the power 7 meter and parallelic angle is 3.32 into 10 to the power minus 6 radian okay so after the simplification finally we'll get the distance of moon from the earth is 3.84 into 10 to the power 8 meter so this is the distance of moon from the earth okay i repeat once again the moon is observed from the earth to diametrically opposite side first north pole irundhu or moon observe panirkaru apram adhe and the point and he then he shifted to the south pole and again he observed the moon it have some parallelic angle but it is a very small angle only but the angle is not given only in degree so we need to convert this because they given in minutes so converted into arcs again by this method then you substitute and simplify you will get the answer so the moon is located 3.84 into 10 to the power 8 meter from the earth okay then last two questions there is a fourth a fourth example
fourth example the sun's angular diameter is measured to be 1920 arc second okay the distance of the sun from the earth is okay this is earth this is sun this is earth and this is the sun the sun's angular diameter is measured to be ingirundhu idu measure pannirukanga so the angular diameter is theta theta value is 1920 arc second okay the distance of the sun from the earth is the distance of sun from the earth is 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 meter this is the distance of sun from the earth what is the diameter of the sun so we want to find the diameter of the sun okay we want to find the diameter of the sun listen i repeat once again the sun's angular diameter uh, the, yes the sun's angular diameter is measured to be angular diameter is measured to be 1920 arc second so here we will use the formula for ang angular diameter we have a separate formula that is alpha is equal to d by d r yes alpha is equal to d by d but what they given we want to determine basis that is d is equal to what this d is given this uh, alpha value also given what is the value of alpha the angular diameter this the given angular diameter it is 1920 arc second this value we can write it as 1920 into 1 arc second what is the value of 1 arc second 1 arc second is 4.85 into 10 to the power minus 6 radian so now we got the value of alpha so from this formula we want to determine the diameter of the sun so how to find the uh, angular diameter angular diameter is equal to alpha into d the distance also given also uh, the distance from the sun uh, to earth is 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 meter this value also given so directly we can multiply the two value so d is equal to alpha into d what is the value of alpha 1920 into 4.85 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 meter okay so power values and all you bring one side so 1920 into 4.85 into 1.496 into 10 to the power here 11 here minus 6 then it become 5 or 5 meter after the simplification finally the distance is 1.5 39 into 10 to the power 9 meter this is the diameter of the what sun angular diameter of the sun okay so today in this class how to measure the length using a meter scale using a vernier caliper using screw cards and the spirometer okay we are checked after that the three fundamental quantities only we are going to estimate in a smaller measurements and larger measurements so today we are discuss how to estimate the larger distance generally we have a three method radio echo laser pulse and parallax but the radio echo and laser pulse you will be learning in your ir classes so parallax method only we are discuss today so how parallax method involved to estimate the larger distance so that was the topic we are discuss today what is the parallax method using a pen i explain um, how to estimate the distance but the distance between the eye is fixed that does not change so the position of right eye to left eye is a basis and from the eye we are measure the point to be determined this is the distance to be determined and it makes some angle but the angle value is very very small so under which conditions the angle is very small also we are discussed and then 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian therefore what is the value of 1 degree 1 arc minute and 1 arc second so using this data we have solved the three different types of uh, numericals so the three numerical also related how to uh, estimate the larger distance thank you remaining we'll see in next class